most important development of the 21st century is this ability to hack human beings. This is about transhumanism and eliminating free will. This gentleman is talking about eliminating free will. His name is Yuval Noah Harari, I believe. I don't want to judge him prematurely, but I do want to hear what he has to say. We are probably one of the last generations of Homo sapiens. Because in the coming generations, we will learn how to engineer bodies and brains and minds. Now, how exactly will the future masters of the planet look like? This will be decided by the people who own the data. Now, why is data so important? We were just now talking about the data. And who's taking over all the data at this particular point? Uh, who's getting all of the data right now? It's important because we've reached the point when we can hack not just computers, we can hack human beings and other organisms. What? We've gotten to a point where we can, we can hack uh, more than just computers, we can hack human beings and other organisms. Hack, hack is what he said. We can hack, we can take over and control. We can break in, take over and control. Now, what do you need in order to hack a human being? You need two things. You need a lot of computing power and you need a lot of data, especially biometric data. But control of data might enable human elites to do something even more radical than just build digital dictatorships. By hacking organisms, elites may gain the power to re-engineer the future of life itself. It's happening. We all see it. It is happening right there on now. Even if we're getting our, we're getting our hands spanked. Every single time we try to keep things going, no, this is right. And I'm saying it, but it's right. I'm saying it, but it's right. We're saying things that is actually right and good for humanity. But because someone decided, some group decided, no, this is the direction we're going now. That is now bad. What was good is now bad. What was bad is now good. And we're going this way. Why? Because this is more lucrative to us. This is where we want to go. If we want to be able to sell them this thing, we need for their minds to think in this way. Whoa. Because once you can hack something, you can usually also engineer it. All of life for 4 billion years, dinosaurs, amoebas, tomatoes, humans, all of life was subject to the laws of natural selection and to the laws of organic biochemistry. But this is now about to change. Science is replacing evolution by natural selection with evolution by intelligent design. Not the intelligent design of some god above the clouds, but our intelligent design and the intelligent design i don't like the way he said that not the intelligent design of some god above the clouds but the intelligent our natural design bro you are a natural design of the one and true one true and living god that's above the clouds that's everywhere he's above the clouds under the clouds he's every day gonna wear we are that i once heard somebody say any fool can tell you how many seeds are in an apple but only God can tell you how many apples are in a seed. They're, God is real. I'm tired of these geniuses continuing to undermine our savior. Now, yes, it's only a belief. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Hebrews 11 and 1. Faith is the um, substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I get it. Everybody don't believe in that doctrine. I, I mean, that doctrine. I get it. But at the end of the day, we are all creators created by the creator and we cannot create unless we use something that the creator created first that's a tongue twister i'm not going to try to say it again but if you think about it you're gonna be like whoa you know what that makes sense i'm not the most ingenious person in the world but when it comes to god i know a little bit about him and sometimes we like to undermine god so that we can get into our human bag. We get into our mwah, mwah. We think we're so freaking smart that we want to take over everything. We want to hack people now. It's what we're doing. It says it right there. He's talking about it. Of our clouds, 
the IBM cloud, the Microsoft cloud, these are the new driving forces of evolution. And at the same time, science may enable life after being confined to, for four billion years to the limited realm of organic compounds, science may ena enable life to break out into the inorganic realm. Humans are now hackable animals. Humans are now hackable animals. Bruh, I get what he's saying is, is, in tru is truthful in some regard, but I don't like the way he's saying it, if that makes any sense. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will, that's over. Free will, that's over. That's over. You hear that? You hear that? Sometimes we get too big for our damn britches. I think it might be possible that this gentleman is too big for his britches in my opinion that's just my opinion but i'm no rocket scientist i'm not an i'm not even an a student anymore by this time i received grades it was c's today we have the technology to hack human beings on a massive scale yeah i mean everything is being digitalized everything is being monitored in this time of crisis you have to follow science it's often said that you should never allow a good crisis to go to waste <laughs> you never allow a good crisis to go to waste some people look at that as well it's it's real it is real it is real because people do it all the time they do it all the time to their benefit he's saying it as if it's a great thing like it's a good thing because a crisis is an opportunity a crisis is an opportunity, is what he says. To also do re good reforms that in normal times people will never agree to, but in a crisis you see we have no chance. So, so, so. Vaccine won't help us go... The of course. will help <laughs> us, of course. It will make things, you know, m more manageable. Surveillance, people could look back in a hundred years and identify the pandemic as the moment when a new regime of surveillance took over. This, I knew that was coming because for some strange reason in between frames, it shows somebody getting the Is maybe the most important development of the 21st century is this ability to hack human beings, to go under the skin, collect biometric data, analyze it and understand people better than they understand themselves. This, I believe, is maybe the most important event of the 21st century. By hacking all- Oh my God, this br bruh. This dude is a villain. <laughs> He's a super villain, man. Organisms, elites may gain the power to re-engineer the future of life itself. Because once you can hack something, you can usually also engineer it. Natural selection is replaced by intelligent design. The era of inorganic life is now beginning. In the coming decades, AI and biotechnology will give us godlike abilities to re-engineer life and even to create completely new life forms. We are about to enter a new era of inorganic life shaped by intelligent design. Our intelligent design. That dude different. And um, whoever asked me to do this one, who asked me to do this? Love of Jesus and humanity. I was about to fuss at you. I was about to fuss at you, but whew, 